Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to go over a web app that I made, which is basically just like um, like a comment board, or I call it a thought wall. So like, think of it as just like a live comment board, so it, uh, whenever you add one, it'll update for everyone else on the site too, so it's, um, it's updating in real time basically. So if I go ahead and add a thought here, call it my thought, this is what I think. I go ahead and add it, it should also update on here. So this is like simulating another user with the website open. Thought successfully added and it shows up here too. So this is done with MongoDB and it's basically um, a demonstration of how you can use MongoDB as a real-time database. So you make updates in real time as you see here. And this is done with um, MongoDB chain streams and then also socket IO. So I'm going to go over socket IO first. Um, socket IO is basically a way to establish a bi-directional connection between your front end and your back end. So your front end can communicate with your back end or your back end can communicate with your front end. And this is done with um, socket events or yeah socket events. So basically what you do is you can have listeners on both the back end and the front end and you can have emitters on either one too. So like if you emit something from your front end and you have a listener on your back end to handle it, um, it'll receive that event and do whatever you want. So the first thing, I'm not gonna go over like the actual React stuff because um, it's not the point of this demonstration, but the code will be available for you to look at. So when, this comp when we open up the website, we wanna establish or initialize our socket IO connection from the front end. And this is just calling the constructor for um, the connection itself. I mean, connect it um, to the back end. And in our server initialization, we have um, a listener from the socket from socket IO. And this is simply listening for any connection that it receives. And it'll console log the connection with the ID or when a user disconnects. This is also a listener for disconnecting. It'll console log the ID of the disconnected user. So this will we're assuming this is already running. So when this tab opens, it'll call this constructor to create the connection. It'll hit the connection on the back end. And then you have, you know, your bi-directional channel established. So after that connection is set up, we will add listeners on the front end. And we're adding listeners on the front end so we can listen to events that are emitted from the back end. And again, there are many ways to go about this. Um, there's also many libraries that you can do this with. Uh, for example, Pusher. Pusher is like a like a website or like a company that basically does something similar like this for you. It's actually more simple. It's as simple as just like getting you an API key and then sending an event from the back end and then receiving it on the front end without any setup or stuff like that. But I thought this was more uh, more you get a better feel of what's actually happening. So we add, I have three listeners here on my front end. My first listener is listening for the new thought event. My second listener is listening for the deleted thought event. And my third listener is listening for the thoughts cleared event. So when I receive the new thought event, I assume that I'm getting the actual thought that was inserted and I'm just updating the thought that's stored. Same for deleted thought, I get the object ID of the thought that should be deleted and I update my thoughts on the front end accordingly and for thoughts cleared I just clear all the thoughts that I have and obviously when I load the tab I want to load all the thoughts that are in the database so it's a simple uh, connection to get all the thoughts so another thing that um, this entire app this uh, real-time connection is based off of is MongoDB chain streams and chain streams are just a way to, I guess, also listen to changes to a certain collection or even changes to your database in general. So you do have to do some configuration if you're running like a local instance. But if you're running a MongoDB Atlas um, instance, they're already configured to use them. So there's no setup you have to do there. Um, so for example, once I open my connection and I connect to my database, all I'm going to do is this line is watch for changes to my thoughts collection. So for example, if um, a thought is inserted or deleted or updated, 
I can take that and handle it accordingly. So adding another listener here for a change to this thoughts collection. And depending on the operation type, I want to do something specific. So in this case, when I insert a thought, so when I post a thought into my back end, like right here, I add thought, create a thought, it'll post it to the back end, add it to my database. It'll, it'll after it inserts, it'll listen to this change event and it'll say, oh, what operation type was it? It was an insert. So what I want to do is create or gather or get that thought that I just inserted. Um, this is just change that full document is how you access the document that you just inserted. So I create that thought with the object ID, the name and the description. And then here is where I emit the event that the front end is listening for. So from my back end, I'm emitting the new thought event and I'm passing in the thought object. And on this front end, on the front end, it'll consume the event I just emitted. So new thought, it'll recognize that I just received the new thought event. It gets the thought object and then it updates accordingly. And then it's a similar case for the delete event. So when I go ahead and delete one manually, like um, when I go ahead and delete a thought manually, whoops, my mouse is freaking out. So if I go ahead and delete this, it should update and delete here. And you can see it happens there too. So what happened here was that it detected, or my change stream detected a change to my thoughts collection, which in this, in this case was a delete operation. And I'm emitting the deleted thought event and I'm just passing in the object ID that I just deleted. So when the front end consumes this event in the deleted thought listener, it just, um, updates the array of thoughts that I have and filters out the one with the proper object ID. And for this listener, it's just thoughts cleared. All I have is like, you know, so I don't accumulate like a lot of thoughts in case people submit like a ton or something like that. Um, it just, it's just a cron job. So every day at midnight, it'll drop the entire collection and then it will emit this event thoughts cleared. And then for any tabs or anyone with the app open, it'll clear the thoughts from their browser. So yeah, that's basically how how the app works. Um, just to summarize, you all you do is establish um, socket IO listener on your back end for any connection. And when in your front end, you establish the connection and then you add your listeners for events that are emitted from the back end and then using MongoDB change streams, you can detect when there's a change to your collection. And then when that change happens, you just emit the event from your back end and your front end will listen to it and consume it and then execute a specific task.